Excuse me, is this the canteen? No, it's the Natural History Museum. <laughs> Can I help? Somebody phone me about Jean. Hello, Peggy. Is that Dolly? We met at the Cafe Bum Bum. Wow, you've slimmed down. Thank you. You used to be gargantuan. <laughs> Which one's Tony? Uh, I am. Oh, oh well, there's no accounting for taste. I hope you didn't mind us ringing, Peggy. No, I didn't mind you ringing. I was in the hall anyway. I was adjusting my bra slip if you're interested. <laughs> uh, Jean's in my office, Peggy. No rush. I think she's having a sort of breakdown. She seems a bit sort of irrational at the moment. Oh, it won't worry me. I do two days a week in the Oxfam shop. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Well, it's something. We get quite a few cruets in. <laughs> Is this in Northwich? Oh, no, I've left Northwich. It was getting very racy. I'm in Tunstall now. Folk aren't so giddy as they are in Northwich. <laughs> what have you been cooking? Food? <laughs> it's what people seem to want to eat. <laughs> I used to like those slimming biscuits. Well, uh, Jean's in there, Peggy. They came in the shape of a bourbon. Uh, how will you get back? Motorway? With no man in the car, no, thank you. No point begging to be ram-raided. Well, <laughs> thanks again for coming and... We uh... had two perverts in Tunstall. Well, luckily, one of them was just visiting. <laughs> Jean! You will help her, won't you, Peggy? It's hit her very hard. She needs sympathy. She needs sort of jollying up. I'll dig out my Ludo. <laughs> I'm at the front. See, Jean. Call me Jean any time. Take care of yourself, Jean. Oh, dear, Brent. What are you looking for, Anita? Haven't we got a little thing to clean the floor? On a stick, wet thing. <laughs> a mop? Stan's taking it back, why? I spilled some of that orange juice on the way. Oh, I'll do it in a minute. You go on. Oh, thanks. See you tomorrow. See ya. Do you want me to do Jean shift, Tony? No, we'll cover for Jean. Oh. Hey, Brent. What? I got do, do, do. <laughs> I'm not going. Why? Oh, someone else is going instead. I'll tell you tomorrow. Oh, Brent, that's really manky. It is manky, isn't it? I've never been in a plane. Still, never mind, you'll have a good time. I wanted to go with you. We could have thrown up in new exotic places. <laughs> What you've never had, you'll never miss. I wasn't going on holiday when I got up. I'm not going on holiday now. Could be worse. Bren. What? It is worse. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> You're on your own, kid. I'm back. <laughs> new venue, new caravan, new kidney. <laughs> That's a long story. I do beg your pardon, Reg. This is my daughter, born Christmas Eve, so we called her Brenda. <laughs> this is Reg, did I say? Go and look at their snacks, Reg. Reg does snacks at the petrol station. My caravan's on his forecourt. He's <gasps> cute, isn't he? <laughs> like an Asian Roger Moore. <laughs> We quit straight away. I said to him, I won't mince words, Reg. Can I winch my legs down onto your hard standing? He jumped. I've uh, got things to do. Oh, I said. We won't stay. Just give you my news. Reg can't bear hanging about. You can see to look at him. He's like a coiled spring. <laughs> <laughs> no, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm back. And this will tickle you. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Stand around. Yeah, come through, mate. What's happening? Don't... <laughs> Can you say that again? I'm pregnant. <laughs> Only nine weeks, so it's early days. But I'm playing at music, you know. When Karishma's on the till, Reg pops in and holds a tranny to my stretch pants. <laughs> <laughs> He can't bear to be kept waiting. <laughs> He's pure animal, isn't he? <laughs> like a panther. No, so I was at the fertility place, you know, the, the famous one, seeing if I could donate a fallopian chew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've forgotten what I was going to say. Yes, yeah, so Mr. Winston does an ultrasound. One set of ramps for the entire site. Unbelievable. Hey, what's happening? Some guy's fallen right down the stairs. We're waiting for the ambulance. So, so, 
Mr. Winston does the ultrasound, goes like a dream, then takes off those glasses of his. He says, Pachula Gordino, you have the uterus of a Wimbledon champion. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow is too narrow to go full term. Could you be a host mother? So, look, 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 look at him. He'll trash the place in a minute. <laughs> That's what attracted me, that air of menace. <laughs> so her eggs were hopeless, so they've used mine. See, she's too highly strung, Gwynny. They only got her through Shakespeare in Love by sending a line dancing with Dame Judy. <laughs> about it. I had a baby once before, but I never really got involved. Do you remember, Bren? <laughs> oh, yes, it was you. You got any ice, mate? We've got to pack his knee in ice until the ambulance comes. Has he busted his knee? That'll be a long job. I'll bring it down. So that's me. Now, Bren, you must pop over. I'm a lot nearer than I was before. Are you? You're at the petrol station by the Winston Churchill. You're drinking there, don't you? Well, I used to. Well, I'm just between the diesel and the queue for the car wash, and I'm nesting like mad already. I've got a mobile over the chemical toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Reg, I won't be long. <laughs> I'll see you. Yeah, you haven't got a good recipe for liver, have you? No, we don't do liver. Oh, I was just thinking for after the birth. Though, how you do placenta on a baby belly? <laughs> Did anybody take I stand, you know? Yeah, uh, Tony did. Why, what's happened? This poor man has gone right the way down the main staircase. He banged his head, his elbow, his knee. It was ghastly, actually. What, had he just tripped up? No, someone had spilled a whole load of orange juice and ice cubes at the top of the stairs on a polished floor and just left it. I mean, who would do that? Can you believe it? No, it's unbelievable. The ambulance is here, Philippa. I'll just make sure I have all this. Um, oh, how is he? How is he, or who is he? How is he? Well, his knee's all... Well, it's not knee-shaped. Well, you know what he slipped on? I do know what he slipped on, but there's only you and me know who spilt it. Go on, then, ask me. What? <sighs> Who's bust their knee, Tony, and can't go on their holidays? Who's bust their knee and can't go on their holidays? Steve Greengrass. <gasps> He's missed his last three holidays. Well, he'll be used to it then, won't he? Oh. <laughs> Poor Steve. You haven't got it, have you? What a flipping day. First I can't go, and then he can't go. <laughs> Ren, what? Don't be thick. You couldn't go because he was going. If he's not going... I can go! Fine! <laughs> Flippin' heck! Tony and Bren going up Marbella. You getting a bikini, then? Flippin' heck. Mm -hmm.